Hello, this is Deanna Davoli, and I'm here to show you how I make my coloring pages in Photoshop. The artwork that I'm using to make this coloring page is called Marie Antoinette Let Them Drink Blood. It was hand drawn using graphite drawing pencils, colored pencils, and watercolor. So once I have it open up in Photoshop, I start by making a new layer. Then, after I make the new layer, I go ahead and select the original image layer. I then click on the FX button at the bottom of the layers, and it is the Add Layer Style button. And from there, I select Blending Options. Then I go to Opacity, and I reduce that opacity down. This allows me to see the lines that I am drawing with on the top layer more visible. Go ahead and select the brush tool that you like. I like a brush tool that is solid and does not have fuzzy edges and points out at the ends. Um, I also use a 0.6 size paintbrush and I just select plain old black. If you wanna select different colors, you can, but for a coloring page, the black works out good for me. Then you can go ahead and start tracing out your drawing. I make mistakes, I can delete them quickly and just undo. Um, you could use the undo button, which is at the top under edit and then undo. You can also select, I use a Mac, so I use control Z. I don't know what undo is on a PC, but find it handy as a quick key tool as opposed to going up and clicking edit undo. But to each his own, you do whatever you're comfortable with and you know. At this point on, I'm going to speed up this process a bit so you can just get the idea and see that I'm tracing out her hair. Um, I do find then that making layers of other areas, so like now I'm doing her hair, I'll name that layer hair. I also will probably do one for her eyes, for the background, and for other layers, just so that for erasing purposes down the road at the end of this coloring page, it will make it much easier if they're on separate layers. For the background, I decided to go with a light gray just because I wanted it to not compete with the darkness of the outline on the foreground or the woman's face. So I decided to go again just with a light gray, make it a little more subtle. And again, just followed the same process. I made a separate layer. This allows erasing mistakes much easier because the lines will not interfere with each other. In this example, I flattened the image and then would undo it. You can do that also, but I just found as I've been doing this more that adding a layer that's just a white page is much easier. To create the white page, you need to create a new layer. The new layer button looks like a square with a plus sign in the middle. This is located on the layers menu at the bottom right of your screen. Once you create a new layer, Go to edit at the top menu bar and then fill. You can fill it with white. Then click on the eye next to your layer to see how your coloring page looks with a solid white background. 
Make sure your layer is at the bottom of all of your other layers, otherwise it's going to cover up all of the lines you drew. So I decided that the gray on the background was a little bit too dark. So I just went again to um, blending options under the add a layer style menu and then just bump down the opacity. Again, I wanted that foreground to stand out more than that busy wallpaper background. And once I was satisfied with the final results, I went ahead and saved it with layers, and then I flattened it and saved it as a flattened image. This coloring page was used exclusively by coloringheaven.com. I will put their information down below, as well as a list of tools that I use to make this coloring page. I was selected to be part of their discovery club. You can also get more coloring pages from me at my Patreon uh, page. I will put that link below as well. I have grayscale coloring pages that are only exclusive to my patrons. And you can also get my downloadable coloring pages through my Etsy shop. I'll put all that information for, below for you. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit the subscribe button down below. I hope to make more and I appreciate your following. And thank you to all my patrons who are on my Patreon page.